Hey, Gabe. Hey, Yahtzee. It's funny thing happened when I was at the park the other day. What? I saw a strange man <laughs> in a brown coat. And when he opened his coat, his willy was there on display. And he flat out showed it to me. Well, I was so surprised, all I could do was open my own brown coat and show him my own willy right back. He could almost say I'd experienced an exposure backwards. That was a long walk for nothing. Yeah, it was better in my head. <laughs> so much is. Oh, uh, yeah, keep it pointing at your mouth, man. It is pointed at my mouth. It's a good rule for all things. Anyway, mm. this is flashback. And this is actually being played live for once. Fuck a doodle do. It's almost like we're taking this seriously at last. <laughs> now, this, of course, is the remake of the 1993 game that we might have a look at later. I'm gonna just go out on a limb here and suggest this would be the wildly inferior remake of the 1993 game. Basically. I'm just gonna yeah. make some noises so I can sync the sound up. Boop. 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 Right, that'll do. Professional. Uh, I think we've both played the original. Yes. Flashback, haven't we? Big fan of the original me. Uh, it was made by our old friends uh, Delphine, of course. I think we also made... Uh, Another World. Future Wars... Another world, Operation Stealth, mm. of our previous adventures. Strangely shitty PC games, strangely wonderful console games. With yeah. the exception, of course, of Shaq Fu, that was Delphine. And we're going to play medium, and for some reason go straight to options here. Great. Because they know we're going to hate the defaults, perhaps. <laughs> I Look, I, I'm not one of those people who has an immediate dislike of the concept of remaking or redoing or rebooting. Especially with video games, because I think increases in technology can really actually add things to gameplay mechanics. Itinerary that. help. Are we fucking getting a plane? <laughs> uh, will the guy that looks like Beta Nathan Drake please uh, make themselves known to the front desk? Why do they have to Nathan Drake him? I mean, really. Well, he was already pretty Nathan Drakey. I mean, yeah. they, all they really added to Conrad from the original is the five o'clock shadow. He already had the hair and the jacket. Yeah, but the, the shit awful voice that they've got for him is. See, that's the thing, like, when Delphine did this on the SNES, it had cutscenes, 3D cutscenes on the fucking SNES. That, that was, was yeah, mind that was, that was impressive then, yeah. but now it's just par for the course. No, <laughs> now it's like, oh, hey, look, it's that thing that we've all been doing for the past, you know, what, 12, 13 years. This actually, like, adheres to More the, uh, the uh, plot and progression of the original pretty closely, mm. but this is pretty uh, significantly expanded, all this business with the police looking around and the dramatic edits. I love that, like, he's certainly not hiding behind the big thing in this room. That would just be cheating. Uh, never even crossed their minds. <laughs> just... These are, uh, these are, are cops. I don't believe they were in the original. I guess they, they don't look like cops. They were just dudes. Yeah. Uh, the whole point of this game being, of course, that you have no memory. So this is deliberately without context. We were running away. Because Lasers! And now that we've been pranged up the butt, <laughs> which is always a, an occupational hazard for people yeah. like Conrad. A uh, high energy photonic rear ender. That was the name of my speedcore band. Mm, I didn't know they served Magnus in cans. <laughs> I've had wine from a can once. It's a great cultural experience. I'm a classy motherfucker. And all of a sudden, mysterious 2D arranged environments. I see. I'm a real big fan of the Prince of Persia jump explore gameplay. I, I am too, but I really think it loses something in 3D. I I don't mind when 3D graphics are used to do 2D. It's a bit like Street Fighter, like the you know Street Fighter 4, big 3D game, all done 2D. I think it, it you know it's not necessarily a bad thing. A bit like Limbo, wasn't Limbo with the. Uh... 3D properties? Or was that completely 2D? Um, it just looked like 3D doing 2D. It seemed 2D. like it had 3D physics on it. Yeah. I mean, back when this was all fully 2D sprites, it was actually quite uh, impressive. Again, yeah, the, if you haven't played the original Flashback, definitely go do that, because it was... Conrad a, can uh, do so many things. A hallmark game for the he SNES. He can thing. run to this side of the platform, and Whoa, he can hey. run to this side of the platform. It's about to do the hokey pokey. Don't know what he's looking on at On the there. edge. <laughs> like, um, my is, goodness, is that Felicitas Persimopsiali? It's a, yeah, it's an undocumented part of his character that he's actually a really keen bug collector. <sighs> Look, a gun floating in midair and spinning around <laughs> because this is fucking serious Sam now. 
in the original game, it was on the ground, and you had to spot that fucking thing. See, you wouldn't have tutorials in the original. I know. And, uh, <laughs> they would have been nice. Uh, I don't know. I... So one thing about this game is that it actually has 360-degree aiming. Yeah, impressed now, aren't you? <laughs> That's uh, the, all with the power of the joystick now. I think you can probably take a drink for this video every time we say the words in the original, but in the original, you could only fire directly in front of you and uh, dire it, directly in front of you and slightly lower when you crouched. It didn't it kind of have, like, essentially an auto-aimy thing where if it was... the bullets would kind of just go at the thing that was in your way of... Basically, and half the time they would they just wouldn't hit because yeah. they decided it wasn't dramatic enough or something. Conrad, I'm you, or at least I was. Back, to, back when you knew how to shave. <laughs> They've taken your ability to shave. You must get to New Washington. They stole my razors. Well, the one thing they... One thing they did add did to say him... say no, no, wait to the fucking holographic recording of himself from well, ages ago? I think we will establish fairly swiftly that Conrad is not the sharpest tool in the Franco-developed box. Uh, why do they do this? Why can't characters be clever and resourceful? Well, you know, in fairness, we didn't fully know Conrad's level of douchebagginess in the original because he didn't speak much. I know, it wasn't that lovely. Well, we, we could go on the fact that he had like a cowlick hairstyle and a leather jacket. Uh, it was the 90s. Although, we have now added a hoodie underneath his leather jacket, so make of that what you will. <laughs> you gotta stay warm in the jungle yards. Now, this enemy is a sort of uh, combination of two enemies from the original. There was, a, there, was a little, uh, there was a little security robot at the start of the game that would basically just shake his little robot wang at you, and, mm. and you would shoot it off, and he would have nothing left to live for. But later on, there were floating enemies that uh, would come at you and... Uh, get inside melee range so Conrad would try An to hit auto them. auto map, a fucking thing that tells you what you're meant to be doing. It didn't used to be this easy, kids. Like you fat, spoiled pieces of shit. Now I'm pointing at a thing here and that thing is a, is a optional collectible thing. You have to shoot the Morphies which kind of gives away aspects of the plot straight away but never mind. Now you notice we're Yeah, actually, <laughs> that does kind of... You notice we're collecting little orange orbs every time we kill things. And uh, that's because of all the wonderful things games could add to retro remakes. We have RPG elements. I'm gonna guess those are poorly implemented and are mostly useless. How did you guess? Yeah, uh, yeah. Guess I'm a fucking prophet. I'm doing pretty well getting these robots, actually. Yeah. I, I was... I was getting stupid faced quite a lot the first time I played, and I think I spoke a bit too soon, actually. I love how the explosions do an unreasonable degree of splash damage, too. I got stupid faced again. Stupid face. That was a fucking bird in the foreground. Now, in the original, take a drink. <laughs> You'd be fighting, like, the mutant enemies at this point. This already feels a bit like... What was that? I don't know, my, my apartment just made a strange noise. That wasn't even like the fire alarm. That was, <laughs> that's the everything's okay warning that goes off every hour. It's possible we might be about to die. <laughs> Maybe that was like the, the warning for some threat that hasn't yet come up yet. These that, are my last words, Clive Palmer. You're a shit-felching poof cunt. That was the warning for the Grey Goo scenario. <laughs> we will be mulched by the end of this sentence. <laughs> you know what my house doesn't do? Make terrifying loud noises just on whim. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that was. That has never <laughs> happened. I lived in this place for a couple of months now, and I've never heard the <laughs> grey goo alarm. But anyway, we've just collected a, a charge shot, because uh, it's not enough to be flashback. Now we're going to be Metroid as well. In the I am yet to see a single thing they've added that makes this worthwhile. This is already feeling like that shithouse. They called it a prequel, but let's face it, it was just a fucking remake of the thing. Did you hear the noise he made when he collected the orbs? No. He went, ho ho! Awesome. Ow. <laughs> now, in the original Take a Drink, that would be an instant kill. Yeah. Uh, it was... Uh, no health bars back then. There was yeah. just, you got you got killed. Well, you did have the energy shield in the previous one. But uh, you had to manually recharge it from recharging stations. I mean, this you just press a button in front of the recharging station and, and all is well. But in the previous, you had to select it in your inventory. Mm. And because it was uh, a little bit adventure gamey that way. 
Did you that hear was that? That was a little noise that he used that? He said, let's play. Oh, Jesus. How relevant. Although a lot of companies sort of encourage let's playing these days, so maybe that was intentional. It was like, wouldn't you like to let's play this and give <laughs> us all the free publicity? Put this on the internet. Gripe, gripe, complain, complain. <laughs> Things were better in I'm the I'm a past. social media expert, says human with no discernible skills. Things were better in the past before it was now. <laughs> uh, let's let's I, play I this and just t tell everyone to play the original. I know the original flashback pretty much off by heart. I did a... Wasn't that like your first yes. foray onto internet stuff? Yes, I did like a screenshot let's play of it in like... Something been, awful? Yeah, that was like six years ago now. But, what was yeah. I doing six years ago? I can't remember, I was drunk. Hey, this is where the sap is coming from. I once mixed two bottles of bitters with orange juice and slugged it. Why would you do such a thing? Because <sighs> bitters is like 42% booze. The hangover from that like was something else. I don't think a human's meant to have that much bitters in them. Now, what they're doing here is that they sort of place more of the emphasis on the narrative uh, and they sort of work bits of the game that originally weren't part of the na major narrative into the narrative 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 etc narrative i love the idea that a cr critter ran off with his teleporter so now there's like some critter with teleportation powers yes it's if just... he could perhaps grasp the extent of the doors now open to him but sadly... it's probably like a one of the a, um a hermit crab. Now there's like a teleport crab. And it's just yeah. like, oh, whatever it sees teleporters, it goes, oh, here, teleporter. And just walks over and then suddenly it's just all over the place stealing your food. I just picked up the molecular glasses. Which, uh... I'm struggling not to like, I don't want to do the whole like, just like, oh, this is a remake, it's shitty. But this is a remake and it's shitty. It does, <laughs> it's it does. adding new dumb things that aren't helpful or beneficial to the game. It's... Yeah, the molecular glasses do the uh, Arkham Asylum thing where they just... Put a filter on things. Okay, there's still one left. Do you need help working out what fucking oh, objects we've reached in the level two? Time to level up <laughs> with skill points. This will be good. Because again, like, so we can either I'm put not points. Not sure how you can improve your accuracy given you've been taking out little floaty balls rather efficiently. I mean, basically, these do nothing. Of None of this does anything. It's just token RPG mechanics because everyone else has them. That I, I picture to the right couldn't make him more dislikable. Like. Yeah, that's the sort of picture that gets taken when someone yells the phrase, Oi, dickhead! across a crowded <laughs> room. Who? Huh? I, I think the first time I played this, I basically just put point, all my points into stamina and everything like was fine. He's trying to focus on that extra chromosome he has. Yeah, or he's trying to like look at the little floaty particles on the surface of his eyeball. Uh... Did I mention that Conrad's a douche now? <laughs> he says douchey things. That's what I mean. Like, if you, if like, I, I get remaking. It's fine. And again, with video games, especially because new, you know, additions to the te technology can really actually open up a whole lot of new opportunities. But... Oh, you douche, Conrad! <laughs> I liked you better when you had the dumb ledge grabbing move that nobody knew how to do. It was great. That's the thing. All there was was you know, sensible. Zero more to go. Sequence completed. I love that it has to fucking tell you that with words. Like, it just showed you that. Yeah, I, hate, I hate when they always have to take control of the camera to go and show you what you just did. So go over here. Are you, get, are you getting Fuck this? it. I'm just, I'm relaxing into the you kids are shit, get off my lawn attitude for yeah. this. It's just happening. There's not, uh... Get into the groove. Man. Yeah. Well, if you're very good, perhaps we'll play some of the original after this session. <laughs> we can... Uh, highlight how everything was much better. It's funny how the 2D animation seemed a lot, uh, I guess, heavier is the word that comes to mind. Oi! <laughs> In the 2D one, that would just, like, phase, you. <laughs> phase straight through you, actually. You'd be fine. And then you'd be standing on it, somehow. I mean, because there was barely... Well, there wasn't that much action in the well, there first was, there was a fair bit. It was mostly killing the, 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 the tiny little robots and the odd mutant. Now I'm trying to remember. Ooh, fluff. All flora and fauna are the Oh, it's the evil future. All trespassing and genetic theft is punishable by intergalactic law. 
Yeah. Honestly, at least crazy corporations in the future are maintaining a forest. First, like, that's at least a thing. Like, yeah. at least we still have trees. First rule of video games, always do what the authoritarian voice specifically tells you not to do. <laughs> I should probably take the teleporter first. I think Conrad knows something we don't. Mm. Yay. Return the teleporter to Bolton. Oh. Let's hope he doesn't play the reins of Castamere at us when we do that. <laughs> I had a haircut after watching that episode, and having someone come near your throat with a straight razor don't, after that... Don't spoil it. That yeah. is the worst internet crime. I Honestly, I hate people who bitch about spoilers. I really do. They can just burn in hell for all I care. Yeah, what used to be rocks that you just threw or like weighed down switches with are now explosive fruit. Because <laughs> that's the <a> thing. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It's like mangoes when they rot, the seed goes off and they actually like fill with pressure and they pop. Yeah, it's not the kind of explosion that could level a wall though. Unfortunately. That would be a pretty crazy mango. Just have a quick, uh, just rest our balls on the shield generator for a second and <laughs> gently teabag my way to hell and back to work. I could run a modern yoga class with that sentence. And gently teabag your way to hell. I'm pressing X. I'm using. <laughs> what have I done wrong? You get nothing. Go back and go forward, and maybe it'll reset. Oh, I forgot to return the teleporter to Bolton. Oh, well, it's you, a good thing. Yeah. Good thing the objective is permanently in the upper right, and you were talking shit about that. I still believe Wait, that it is. <laughs> that's the wrong way to go. Ow! <laughs> I'm the I'm the best at video games. I, yeah, I win all the games. It is my job to be the best at video games. I beat Contra with one life and injected all the marijuana. No, you didn't. Well, was that a before or after situation? Uh, I think one follows the other naturally. If you take marijuana in the 80s, I think uh, the Contra guys would be after you next. <laughs> Winners don't use drugs. No. Except, you know, Michael Phelps. Well, in all fairness, I think Eddie Izzard uh, made this point once, but it's not that much of a performance-enhancing no. drug, is it? Although, I'd hate to be the person that has to share weed with someone with Michael Phelps' lung capacity. Oh ho! Well, the bong stops after a while. Yeah, and after a while is when he's finished all of it. You right there, Mike? You right, Mike? That's gotta go around. Mike, fuck. 3D animation's kind of floaty. That, yeah, that was... Because that, that was the thing, those old Delphine games had a real sense of weight. I think I remember hearing that, uh, like, the a lot of the original guys of Flashback were working on this, but a lot of the original guys from Flashback also worked on Amy, so I don't <laughs> give, score them any points for it. It's not what you've done, but what have you done for me lately? Plot in Narrative. inverted commas. Narrative. Yeah, this is this sure. character is uh, rather than just disappearing and never be seen again, as in the in the original. This character will actually be recurring. Uh, see, I kind of like the. Mm. Awesome sauce. He actually said those words. <laughs> he said the words awesome sauce and now no nothing will ever be the same again oh god he sounds like one of those girls that takes a little tub of like bubbles to blow everywhere because it thinks it makes her interesting yeah awesome, I got bubbles yeah, awesome sauce <laughs> that really is the uh, characterization of Conrad in this game <laughs> he's a little bit ditzy yeah and, uh, I don't have a remember. personality, but I sure do have a bunch of props that make up for that. And he can't remember how to get down again. <laughs> That's how you did it in the original. Oh, down wait. hard. Oh, wait. I, for I forgot. I needed, I needed to steal that man's ID card. See, the other one, like there was no other, like there was, it, there was a sense of isolation. Um. Yeah. Like it, it, that didn't break until you got in back into the city. Like when yeah. you, and even then, you know. The, He said, had to get jobs in the city. He said something there. Yes, uh, this actually pretty closely follows all that. So, uh, we get to enjoy that again. Stupid recurring drone, I'll shoot you with my infinite gun. I want to know what all the little jobbies in the bottom left are for. 
Um, well, one of them I mean, looks like you've got your sunglasses energy for whatever. See, this viewer is an example of bad interface design. Stuff that we're not need that we don't need on a, like a regular basis. You don't need to show all the time. Yeah, this HUD is cluttered as fuck, and for no reason. That was a slightly embarrassing fight. <laughs> what the, what oh, the hell was that? Oh, that's amazing. Look at it. That was not animation. That was just <laughs> sort of failing next to a ledge. <laughs> quick canned ledge animation, but just it's still quick, in the air. Fuck quick, it, I can float. Quick reminder what that sunglasses bar is for. Hope it's everything you dreamed of. I'm guessing maybe that... I basically Access. never use the, the bloody sunglasses. No, I like the game's already been borderline idiot proofed enough as it is, and then they've got the glasses, which this camera is saying, "Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you know how you learnt that was there in the first game? You jumped down and you got shot, and you had to start again." Well, I wouldn't say you got shot. You got fucking shot. <laughs> Just blah. I think you can destroy these. Try a charge shot. Ah, there's a thought. See, it wasn't in the original, nope. and therefore it is not part of my world, the charge <laughs> shot. That's... that's not reading, that's listening. <laughs> I'm gonna go read an audiobook, says a person who doesn't understand words. Uh, he knows how to introduce himself. Well, here's the jump hole. But you'll need an anti-grad belt. Unless you're planning on making a big impression when you get there. Hmm. I think Brisbane needs something called a jump hole. I think it just <laughs> yeah. makes sense for this city to have. Yeah. Tired of life. Jump hole. Sick, sick of being a burden to yeah. everyone. Well, there's already the story bridge, which has all these signs up from, like, Lifeline saying, please don't kill yourself. Which is yeah. just... So cheery. I love that we actually, we live in a society where we actually have to find ways to prevent people from destroying themselves whenever the opportunity is available. <laughs> well, what I love is anyone who's going to have a resolve to kill themselves being stopped by an impersonal bridge sign. I'm the best at riding elevators. Well, that'll make me feel special and useful. So I don't know if you caught this, but uh, in a clever way of sort of streamlining gameplay mechanics, Whereas in the original, take a drink, you had to collect a bunch of random money that was lying around for no reason other than because it was the Mutant First National Bank or something. <laughs> you actually you have to collect seven of the red fruit instead. Like it's World of Bloody Warcraft all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, fetch quests, the lifeblood of the industry. That feels good. The fetch quest feels good mm. on our balls. It's a felch quest. That's not the same thing. It's <laughs> not the same thing at all. <laughs> Did you learn that the hard way? We, oh, look, ragdoll physics. I do love that ragdoll physics in uh, two D in my two D platformers. That's what gets me about gaming these days. Why the fuck does something like XCOM need a physics engine? Stuffing a sandwich full of foie gras has just been unhelping. I know it's a good thing in some circumstances, but just... It's just because developers license all these bloody physics engines yeah. and think, let's might as well just use them in everything we do. I don't think that guy was legitimately trying to harm you. No, I think he was just demanding to know my business. Yeah. All the while I was shooting him. Stop or I'll shoot. Ow. Ow. Okay. That gun and I have uh, reached an understanding. <laughs> hey, buddy, stay right where you are or slightly further away. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, hey. There's probably I, nothing going on. I remember right? this rock from a tutorial I saw. Get out of my way, level 3 indicator. I got shit to kill. Let's play. Yes. Let's play, Conrad. Let's play with our stats some more. Stamina again. Because oh, it gives you more health, apparently. <laughs> I don't think you've been even remotely endangered. 
Like well, during quite this. a few things have hit me. And well, yeah, my, and my energy has gotten low at times, but as is the case with a lot of uh, this sort of thing, you get all your health back when you level up, which I think was the case just then. I, would, well, I might have been in slight trouble otherwise. Well, yeah, but there was a there's a, a, a recharge station just down there to the bottom right. Ah, yes. Well, you don't want to be challenged too much. <laughs> this is still the early game. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Why did you not catch that ledge, Conrad? I've gotten used to doing that automatically now. In the original, he would have. Yes, in the original, he would have uh, done so, and also money would have come out of the console. Money fight! And uh, we would all have been eating cake, and there would have been no suffering in the world. Free blowjobs for all. Well, not for the people giving the blowjobs, obviously. Well, no, no, you... They get theirs next. Uh, yes, they're on the waiting list. Here's your belt. You know, once you jump through that hole, there's no turning back. I've never. I feel we have formed a very uh, special relationship yeah. in this brief moment, Mister. If you need anything, you can find me at the Starlight Cafe. Mister accent, I'm still trying to place, frankly. I think it's like some combination of Swedish and. Far future South African. Jump into the hole to go into New Washington. Now that we've bought this uh, anti-G belt that we're just going to assume will work. <laughs> this amazing piece of technology the hippie gave us is surely not broken. Yes, I remember this being a very dramatic cutscene in the original. That was uninterrupted by the little skip dialogue. Haircut. Uh. That is a very solid haircut. I think it's made of toffee. <laughs> the thing is, he doesn't even look like he has enough of a personality to be a douche. He looks like one of those poor people that aspires to douche them, but just, like, just fucking empty. Yes. He seeks to create some kind of identity for himself. <laughs> and he decides he's going to do that by reclaiming douchebaggery, but <laughs> really, he's just lost. He's, he's retro a... douche. Now... In all fairness, this part of the game was uh, the source of great annoyance in the original because this was the point where either you knew how to do the special ledgy climb jumpy move that was different to the standard running jump. Wasn't it just up and jump? Uh, well, it was kind of complex in its own way. <laughs> Let me go! Oh no, I must save this person somehow. Help me, my name's Betty. See, I approach most problems by bursting into the room and shooting everything. Oh, it was like a Guile's fight finish phrase in the original Street Fighter 2 was just when in doubt, I sonic boom. And all I can see in my head is like him at a nice dinner and not being sure which fork to use. Ian looks like he's wearing a fucking badly made Star Trek cosplay uniform. <laughs> I made it myself for a uh, character I've written my... Yes, he gets to wear a special uniform because he's so great. Yeah. He's actually an advanced form of engineer. Um, he never dies. Right, now. This is weird. In the, origi in the original Take a Drink, this was basically the point where the title of the game became completely meaningless. Because uh, you get all your memory back immediately. <laughs> but they've reworked that a bit in this oh, game. You're back. Take it easy. Your you don't actually get all your memories back straight away. So Listen, Although if you've played the original, you already know what the plot is, so uh -huh. I don't know why they're being coy about it. I don't think any, anybody else would be willingly playing this game, except people who want the nostalgia of it. I've experienced this directly, like, after waking up after, like, abusive night's drinking. Literally, like, nothing but... Nothing but fuzz, and knowing that my pants are sort of half down, and then knowing that there's someone else in the room with me while my pants are half down, and then realizing that I'm not in the bathroom, I'm in a kitchen peeing. Uh, yeah. That, that came to me over the course of an hour. That happens to us all a lot. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was a busy evening. So now we've got the force field from the original... The original had like a perfectly vertical force field like what another world had. Hmm. 
Why is it always a force field? Why is it never a consent field? <laughs> Find a VR console and connect to it. I think that it has issues of its own. I love that it's like, you know, the, the mission little goals aren't complex things. It's literally walk to use. And yet it feels the need to just have that there perpetually. Duh. Well, all these travelers seem perfectly fine with me gunning down all the security <laughs> that's robots just, that are around. That's just standard for, like, waiting for the train in the valley. That's... Uh, can uh, I, dude running through, shooting the drones. The guy in the back going, Can I help you, sir? <laughs> are you done blowing up our expensive security measures? Yeah, Transleaks and you um, go-kart scanning drones. They can get a little aggressive. Oh, hey. Wi-Fi in the airports. Yeah. The future is now. Who wants to use public VR fucking goggles? Those things would be filthy. Yeah. You don't want to know what sort of things people have been crying about <laughs> while using VR. Uh, they didn't wipe off the applicator. Hey, remember the name of the game we're playing? That was it right there. You're late. Um, uh, the flash crack. Crack flash. Splashback. Back. Splashback. Mm. That works. Retrieve and play. I've obviously got nothing better Guy I knew at the city farm that I worked at was vomiting into the drop toilet. <laughs> so what with this now being a new game as well as being an old game, there has to be a glitchy tutorial. You've just been through a big chunk of stage though. What are they fucking tutoring you Sne on? Well, they've got a tutor is on sneaking apparently and grabbing. <laughs> I wonder how such a clever agent such as yourself oh, yes. ever got his mind erased. Ooh, that's a lot. Oh, yes, you, uh... You heard me. <coughs> got some, uh... I'm gonna go examine these meaty-looking sausage things clinging to the edge of this ledge. With quite some grip strength, <laughs> does our Conrad. And that is one thing, like... <sighs> Especially because, you know, I'm, I'm heavy, so supporting my own weight takes a lot of effort. But, I mean, yeah. really, if, like, go try and hang on, like, a chin-up bar or something, and then tell me if you could hang onto the edge of something for very long, let alone pull another human being up. That was a very half-hearted execution. I could hear the... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Conrad is perfectly suited for taking down unaware Girl Scouts and <laughs> no. nuns. <laughs> what the fuck mutants are these? We got mutants from the pansy dimension. Well, it's not the kind of mutant that actually makes you stronger or anything. It's just the kind of mutation that just, just makes, makes you ugly. makes your immune system stop working. <laughs> I have severe allergies. Why are you hitting me? Uh, it's the challenge mode uh, because it's modern games or something. Well, more specifically, it's an XBLA game. Got to get those achievements. Basically, kill ten drones. Money for old rope. If I made one of these games, I'd have an achievement that was just like, you know, you had to sit in one room and push the button like a hundred thousand times. Ow. It'd be a platinum achievement, but it'd just be one of those things to like, just completely torment and torture those morons who find this shit important. Hurt by an exploding corpse. The greatest irony of video games. <laughs> Ow. G give me, give me your... M Flashy mangoes. Yum. Yum yum. Ow. <laughs> See, the other thing we moved on from after we games became more generally 3D rather than 2D is not being able to see what's 15 feet in front of you. Mm. Well, I think we've acknowledged this token challenge system was for a long enough, don't Please you? Please make it go away. It's literally done that thing where it has just taken everything that is the worst of modern gaming and added it to an old game. Because it had a name that people recognize. Yeah. That you can also get and play by itself better. Like, And, I mean, the one good thing, I mean, how much was this? Um, It was part of the Xbox Winter of Arcade, which is known as the Xbox Summer of Arcade in shitty hemispheres. So hot. Uh, so I guess I think it was around twenty bucks, ten bucks. Uh, that's not worth it. it not even for the first one. It wasn't a massive amount. Oh fuck you! Are you? Do you have to do these things? It seems that I do. Yeah, that's problem. fucking amazing. Oh wait. Uh, Thanks. Thank God. <laughs> 
that. That's, thank <laughs> heaven for small mercies, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, that would have been astonishingly shit house to force you to go through that. The game's actually only 45 minutes long, so we need to make you to do this in order to give it a sense that it was worth 20 bucks. Well, the original wasn't a massive game. No, but it was... It, it had that nice kind of old world console hard. That was just, it was just, it was unforgiving. I think you mean Nintendo hard. Do I? Yes, that was like, that was like the, the big advertising thing for Nintendo. Our mm. games are Nintendo hard. Mm. Yeah, it was like the Nintendo guarantee or something. Yeah, and that guarantee kind of went to shit reasonably quickly. Haha. Uh -huh. Asia. I was going to say you'd think more people would notice these alien cameras everywhere, but then they didn't notice uh, me shooting up the place earlier. <laughs> Nobody cares. Well, Nobody everyone's, cares. Yeah, everyone's just watching TV. It's like a hyper-libertarian future where people running around with guns shooting video cameras is just, you know. Yeah. And that's just exercising your amendment rights. Yeah. And here we are in America, the speaking of which. The amendment. Uh, I think whoever designed that... Um, TV on the left needs to take some lessons in logo design. Mm. The Death Tower TV show for your enjoyment. It was like, I am looking forward to when the value of human life dips just enough that you can start murdering people on TV. Not like stoning them to death or something grotesque, but like kind of running Manny. What am I looking for? I don't even know. Find a memory flash, America Station. I'm not America Station. Who's you America are. Station? My name is Conrad Hart. Are you America Station? Hello. I'm looking for America Station. I, I apologize for shooting you, Madame Station. <laughs> but you didn't leave me with a choice. Madame Station, you look plentiful and fertile today. America, fuck yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm here. Oh, I think that's a thing. Is, Look at that. I think What's that? Is that a memory? That's a memory flash. What exactly do you intend to do with that, Conrad? Because I'm gonna, I'm picturing him sticking it up his bum, of course. <laughs> it's, a, it's a memory suppository. More stuff being worked into the larger narrative. The Death Tower TV show from the original, which was basically just a way to get money, is now tied in with the evil conspiracy of monsters. Which is irritating, because the fact that it was just a TV show that was on in the world in the first one was kind of way more interesting. We're an agent of the GBI, apparently. Yes, thank you, I just said that. We found a way to defeat you. The groin biting initiative. Yes, yeah, so the, the plot of the game is that shape shifting aliens are taking over the world. And we have to stop them for self evident reasons. Okay, like well, Conrad needs a rowdy Roddy Piper skin. Some sort of incredible reality show. Yeah. Actually, yeah, someone should hack this and turn it into They Live. Mm. And then they just add, like, some, you know mechanics from SmackDown so there can be a whole pro wrestling game in the middle when you fight the dude with the sunglasses on. Did you see that bartender just materialize from the ether? Yeah, they can do that. Reveal your secrets. <laughs> It'll be some kind of drug. Uh, ask for Joe at the bar. I was just here. <laughs> and who are you? He told me I could find him here. Name's Conrad Hart. I don't know no Joe. Go to the administrative center. They know everybody there. I think you mean they know everybody there. That was... Uh, yes, the... The main plot in the original uh, is basically just... No one cares about the aliens. You need money to get to Earth for reasons we haven't explained yet. So just uh, get a job. What do you think this is? Some kind of video game where people will just <laughs> hand you money, or you find it in pots and in discarded boxes? No, you're gonna earn your sodden living. Get a job, hippie. Now we go to the Africa station, where one in three residents test positive for HIV. <laughs> oh, Africa! Uh, so many sad things. Yes. Well, not in the future. In the future, Africa's so great, we want to be reminded of it every time we take public transport. I hope it turns around. It should. Like, people... Uh, people a little get better. Things will, things will improve. Yes. Uh, speaking for all white people, we're very sorry. <laughs> How much oh, is please. it to Earth? 
It's not a race thing. I mean, admittedly, the Mormons are kind of helping the really rabid and horrifying anti-gay movements in Uganda, but... I'd like a work permit. Well, yes. First floor. I think probably the worst thing is the general, like, superstition that sex with a virgin will cure you of HIV. I'd like a work permit. This is pretty much exactly like it was in the original. Mm. And it was exactly as fun. <laughs> I'd like a work permit. Can't you see I'm busy? I see somebody. I think this is just part of the screening process. Okay. I would like a work permit. Oh, why didn't you come to me first? The director will see you now. Stand in the middle of the room and bellow, Me wanty work! Oh, this is essentially future Centrelink. Basically. But everyone's, uh, every government seems to be looking for new ways to discourage people away from bludgeoning the doll. <laughs> what, what is it that Tony Abbott's doing? He's just basically moving all the work. No, in that land. thing was from 2010. It was said to a room full of mining magnates and was wildly blown out of proportion. Oh, okay. I mean, I, you know, I hate Tony Abbott because I think he's a fundamentalist Catholic and an idiot and shouldn't be running a first world nation, but... That was not a th a genuine. C that whole like we're gonna put people on the doll in the mines. That was not a concern. That's that's not a thing. Oh no! I accidentally put a point into accuracy. Oh well, shit. I'm sure that will make it. Now you fucking fucked it. Oh god, I'm too accurate. <laughs> ah, 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 I'm, too, I'm not used to this. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can handle the responsibility of having the power of life and death. Now officially Hawkeye. Or he got a. Now we're gonna uh, start entering the world of work. World of workcraft. I mean, we technically already have a job, but uh, you have a mission. Is a mission a job? No, we're worried. Is a purpose in life a job, or is a job a purpose in life? Our job is GBI agent, which uh, you think would be enough job for any man. General buttock intercourse. Although I can't get enough job sometimes. <laughs> If, oh, if, if, it's oh, a oh. if it's a certain kind of job... If it's a sex job for sex... I'm a little tired. <laughs> you have to walk uphill to get to my apartment. It's not even a steep fucking hill. I want you all to know that. <laughs> hmm, why is there it's a... an incline. Why is there a square to the right of this room? With a question mark. Huh. Perhaps that'll come into Wait, it. Wait, use your fancy goggles. There's a thought. I thought I... Well... You're, no. You failed. <laughs> You're a failure. How dare I think that that thing might show you Papers, where please. secrets are hidden. Papers, papers please. Citizen. That's a much better game. Let's play that. Don't you have papers? Wasn't the whole point of that to get papers? No, we don't. We have uh, work papers, but we don't have ID papers. One oh. would think... One would think you'd need one before you could have the other, but... <laughs> Hello, I'm nobody. Can I work for you, please? Yeah, sure, I'm good with kids. Sure, get in the back of my pickup truck. <laughs> bueno. Excelente. Excelente. Excelente, I think you'll find. <laughs> yes. I, know, uh, I like saying it excelente because the, the soft sea has kind of a... You know, that kind of lizardy hiss to it that I like with perverts. Uh, I don't know, I like the excelente. Excelente. Etch because it's got a shh in there like a man says to says to someone he intends to do something horrible to I know objectively why there haven't been much con you know comics that have dealt with superpowered rapists but given that like the DC and Marvel universes every third human seems to have some kind of superpower I'm surprised it hasn't come up a little bit more I want to see like a venom fueled rapist called Bano Excelente now, there's a conversation going on here in which it states that Conrad has a girlfriend. Ooh. Now, this is a plot point that was only mentioned in the original game in the tie-in comic book that came with it. But the girlfriend is sort of mysteriously vanished by the time of the actual game, and no one ever brings her up. Women. You'll notice they made a few changes to that aspect in this remake because there has to be a love interest, otherwise... Everyone might think Conrad, justifiably, prefers uh, a cock in his mouth. Or just doesn't have a girlfriend. Or, you know, to get the girls to play, because uh, women only understand things through the vector of relationships. The the way they, like, try to crowbar the female love interest into this game while also remaining true to the original game that had no love interest <laughs> is one of the most retarded points, I find. 
Typical women not hanging around after you've had your memory deleted by space aliens. Basically, the girlfriend is little more than a presence. She's like Shodan. Uh... Look, women, we put a girl in the game. Girl, look, girl, yes, girl. We put the voice of a girl <laughs> in the game. Because you're so fucking basic, you can only, you know, understand a, you know, video game through a similarly gendered protagonist. I remember this from the original as well. You, the first mission is basically just to deliver a package. And while you're doing that, precisely one cop materializes. <laughs> but, oh no, two cops. Hush my mouth. Two cops and a drone. It's a buddy comedy. I guess they, uh, they're they really unhappy about whatever was in that package. Chris Tucker's the drone. Racists. Perhaps the package contains sandwiches. <laughs> Full of drugs. Full of drugs. A meth burrito. Mm. The problem with those is, like, a, you know, a few hours butty. after you want another one. Yes. Meth. And then, like, permanently. <laughs> and then just always. I don't know. Never understood the appeal of math. <laughs> well, try anything once. <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, I forgot I had to see you. <laughs> okay, one of them did a little dance because he got spazzed out. He just like spun around four times. I think spazzed out sums up my approach to most of the combat in this game. I <laughs> uh, know. The other one was so. Well, there was a, there was an artistry to the other one because. Mm. Because there it was had a, limits. There was much more. Uh, what's the word I'm after? Determination to all the actions in the 2D animation. Once you were in an animation, you were committed to it. Yeah. That's my point. But in this one, you can just flap, fl flap in and out of animations as you please. Which gives it that really unpleasantly floaty quality. Yeah. That's and loose, like he just spins like there's no weight to him. It's just, uh, I don't like that. I think that's the essence of it. I it's it's because they're bending over backwards to be accessible to even the most ten thumbed of player. Grotesque, gibbous little fucking modern shits. Well, I don't really get the phrase ten thumbed because surely that would make you they're much more good, yeah. dexterous at everything. <laughs> Opposable thumbs is what elevates us above the animals, after all. All you've got's pinkies. If I had a handful of thumbs, I'd be able to hold like ten drumsticks at once. <laughs> yes, yes, Conrad has a pair of glasses that reveals the evil morphs that, and uh, there's a virus that breaks it down and, and we're saving the world. Nothing solves a problem like a race-based genophage. Now, in the original you have to go all the way back to the job centre to get the next job, but in this now case they've, uh, they've thankfully streamlined the process a little bit. There's an awful lot like being a drug dealer. We have to go to Restricted Area 2, which is right here, happily. What's the job? It's not very restricted. Now, again, in the original, this was just a generic character you had to escort, but again, they're bringing back this character, who is so dynamic and uh, lovable. <laughs> just, he was so blazingly memorable, he really stole that opening scene with the teleporter that I think it's only right that they bring him back in now. Yeah, he's like the fan favourite at this oh, point. Yeah. Well, did you see the amount of costumes for him at, um, you know, the Escapist Expo? Yeah, yeah he's... Probably he's, fucking everywhere. Yeah, yeah, he's the, he's the breakout character. Yeah, some really sexy gender bend costumes where it's like girls in just a bikini with the yellow leg brace. I think the next project is going to be some, a Bolton dating sim. <laughs> where you play as Bolton and romance all the lovely ladies of New Titan or whatever this place is called. Mm. Whereas Conrad runs around spazzing at robots. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's, I, I forgot about that. Yeah, the, the death animations are a little bit uh, non-committal. <laughs> you were like walking backwards for all of it. I'm like, wait, wait! I just realised. I think I might be dead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that's that. I'm gonna deliberately die so we can watch that again. That's odd. Blood's not getting to my head. Bolton. It was important that we know that this <clears throat> door is closing again. Ooh, treat me rough, sugar. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 And la 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 la. Oh, he died properly that time. <laughs> I don't know. That still looked like a year 10 drama student. Like, Maybe if you're like firing and backing up, it's what fucks it up. Which Because I'm constantly firing and backing up <laughs> yeah. in this game. 
No, there's... This logo reminds me of something. I'm not sure what. It might be like Terminator 2. He has a Michael Baininess about him. Yes. Well, I just failed at going down on a lift. <laughs> this is why everything needs railings. Yeah, I mean, there's all this, like, black and yellow taped off areas around here, and but you just no stood actual on it. railings. Right, watch out! We're not going to stop you falling off, but Does just, everyone you know, in the future have a laboratory? Just be mindful of this gap that we haven't fenced. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you're going to put in a fucking Dune reference, spell it right, you shits. Yeah, and it was just a reference, wasn't it? Yeah. And nothing else. No. I'm not sure if this gun has any kind of reloading aspect. It doesn't. Like, it's, just, it's just perfectly infinite. It's just like that symbol does weird. It's things. a new Smith and Wesson Omni shoot. Just weird things happen in the bottom left, and I'm not sure what to make of it. Because you, you can't have a fucking screen in a modern game these days that isn't fucking busy with just shit happening constantly because you fucking ADD little pieces of crap. Oh, I found... Yes, a, I'm talking about you, you millennials. I found a little Geordie LaForge visor there, and now the uh, molecular glasses will work longer because that will greatly enrich my life. That upgrade couldn't have come sooner. Yes. Like, I love that it, it highlights literally the only obvious interactable objects in the environment. Basically, which are obvious anyway. Yeah, like, they're, just, they're, they're the only thing fucking there. You probably want to take care of that thing before it shoots, like, you know, gimp yeah, face or whatever I... his fucking name is. Do I have to blow No, you have to up? jump up and then walk to, over to the left and then jump down. Right. Like, then go left. See? And there's gimp face, and then you shoot the thing. Ha 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 ha. And then you'll have to, like, go solve another fucking trivial shithole for puzzle in order to get robot Bolton through. Because that's all I'm good for. Yeah. Cyber Bolton must survive. Uh, that earned 1500 credits objective is here to stay, I think. <laughs> you belong to us. Uh, how do you open you this? You will be like us. I can't remember now. You can't just push down on there. Oh, maybe I'll just, yeah, continue <laughs> without him. <laughs> Yahtzee Croshaw, puzzle solver. Fuck that guy. And fuck you. Ooh, uh, he's got a shield. Yeah, look at And he can do the splits. Look I love that you can just run over him like that. Look at Mr. Digital over here with his fancy force field. Alright, those two might actually kill you. Do Pow! Huh, I think we found uh, Conrad's intellectual match. <laughs> oh, oh, you I'm sure sorry, we shouldn't? Am, I, am I interrupting makeout time? Okay, drop down and I bet you can do a takedown. Come on, I've charged a shot. He's not gonna, is he? Come yeah, on, investigate yeah, that, yeah, your friend. Ah, yeah. oh, it was probably nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got a bit of an arm to him, does Conrad? <laughs> oh, thank you. I found a use for this thing. A use they had to really shoehorn in. Yes. Well, no one's gonna use these dumb glasses we invented. Fuck it, put a bunch of invisible minds in. Well, I'm grateful for the extra time we have for, to use glasses now, because it takes me at least 12 seconds to be able to see where the large glowing objects are. You've destroyed a Morphi! Am I supposed to have the guy with me at this no, point? No, I think, because you've got to shut down the door that's between Crippo and the rest of the stage. So I think you gotta keep going this way and go up, up from here. Not Crippo, Bolton! <laughs> He hasn't. He is a human being with a name. Okay, look at that. That was one of those invisible things that you just had to use the fucking glasses to deal with, and it wasn't even that big a threat. No, no. It hit me <laughs> for like a little nugget of health. <laughs> the eyeballs are more hassle. Well, could be the fight winner. Ooh, my uh, <laughs> It's perfectly safe to land on your ribs. Give it a try. Yeah. Conrad, <laughs> Conrad's just so tired. Yeah, you will not bust your sternum and not be able to breathe. Huh. I was really expecting something to attack me here. Yeah. Well, I guess they never will then. What culture organizes a series of doors based around fucking tripwires? Well, I stood in the tripwire, but nothing happened. Handles were deemed ableist. Bloody ableists. Now it's just things that... Is that it? Gargantuan fatsos and... I don't know, probably. 
Run through that one. Oh, I think that's where I'm supposed to take the guy. Yeah. I can, I can now, uh... Now, now, now the door's I, open. I can now pick him up. Yeah. Or not. Okay, use the glasses. Because that will, uh... Purple. You're looking for purple. I... Okay, I'm gonna presume that... Alright, no, all the doors are purple. Okay, I was thinking maybe there'd be, like, a corresponding purple tripwire you're supposed to go through What do you something. think this is? Gunpoint. <laughs> what do you think this is? A good game. I... I wasn't gonna say good game, but I thought, like, someone would at least put some coherent puzzle solving in there. Alright, okay, a there's second. a bit up... Oh. What have we Walk here? Walk is it is it already open? No. Nope. Well, hmm. we'll walk through the uh, laser. Nothing uh, happened. No, does nothing. I'm gonna use all the power of my brains. Boy, live let's playing, eh? <laughs> this I'm, is where the future's at. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm cold. Girls, where are the girls? Did you ever watch the Earthworm Jim animated series? No, you were just basically spouting gibberish at that point. No, like Earth, because like Earth, one of the running gags was like Earthworm Jim had multiple brains, but yes. then he'd try and consult them on things. But they'd always only ever say, "I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm cold, and girls, where are the girls?" That's four <laughs> brains. Huh? Yeah. What did I say? I said he has multiple brains. Oh right, I thought you said three brains. No, I'm still quite tired. <laughs> and you've been drinking. Doesn't make you cool, you know. Alright, this is... You, tell me what to do. Hey, Reveal your secrets. Yeah, hey, bolt and be help. Alright, this isn't helping, okay, so that's... Alright, this is a wall. <sighs> this is a fizzy wall. Okay, jump, it, it's, it's gotta be back around down there, it's not up here. That's, or, I don't know, maybe explore up here well, a little well, bit more. Well, it might be up Cross. here. There's a thing up there. Yeah, but these don't appear to fucking do anything. Aha! Alright. See, we give it shit for <laughs> getting the camera to show us every little thing, but... Then that happens. I think we should officially be ashamed of ourselves. Man, Your files don't do you justice! You can shoot and roll! It's all coming back to you. Old school style. Ah! Uh, Wait, can I roll? I didn't know that. You probably can. Eju gave me is really panning out. There's something big going on. You have no old school style. Because rolling is basically the most important combat rule in the first in, in the first game. <laughs> There's that great gif of that MMA guy missing like a big fat MMA guy too, like missing like a sort of knee kick and then just doing these two awesome rolls to escape a dude who's not pursuing him in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> it's brilliant. Combat rolls. Yeah, he. It's it's one of those ones where he like he turns into a ball like somehow. It's like some like a Sonic and Samus fucking thing going on, but it's, combat, it's great. Combat rolls is one of those things that everyone in video games can do. Like that thing where you put your hands and feet outside a ladder and slide down them really fast. They use, it's it's a it's a useful skill. Like for forward and backward rolls, like if you can do it on like a hardwood floor without bruising yourself, it's good for fluidity. Well, that's a pretty big if. Well, yeah, you. I mean, you know, your average human who hasn't, you know, done any exercise in the last two years isn't going to be able to do it off the bat. They're just going to go head first into the ground and I mean, knock I'm just, themselves yeah, I'm out. just picturing myself hurling myself at the floor, and all I'm seeing out of that is a broken shoulder. I'm picturing that too, and it's very, very funny. Uh, we should do, like, a, uh, a, a YouTube series of uh, workouts for geeks. Oh, yes, this is the mission from the original where... The reactor's gonna blow, and the only solution anyone can come up with is to put an ad in the job center and hope someone takes <laughs> care of it. Brilliant. <laughs> it's like you'll find it on Gumtree. It's like, wanted, you know, someone to go in and solve this whole reactor yeah, crisis. Someone to, someone to go and save us yeah. all. Understanding of physics helpful, but not vital. Yes. We now have a minute 30, and I, I wish I knew how to roll, because it would have helped there. Pause it. There's gotta be a... a th oh, whoa, wait. Wait, wait, wait. There it is. Is it duck while running? Uh, no, it's just press L1, which has no other purpose. Uh, it doesn't need another purpose, dude. It's roll. Yeah, I'm unstoppable now. <laughs> How, well, having said Ow, that. Ow! Explosions! Why are you trying to stop me from... I, yeah, not, there, from there should not be attack yet. droids in the... This doesn't make sense. Could someone add my identity to the bloody security clearance system? Oh, hey. Nah, nah, nah. 
Old school style. Oh yeah, that, I, I didn't even remember that bit. That roll, was, roll. That was all reflexes. That was. That roll had no purpose. I just like I just enjoy the roll. Let's go up or down. Down. Yeah, I'm guessing down. Oh god, we're all gonna die. <laughs> More like nuclear overreactor. Um, uh, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Thanks, random unemployed man. Here's a handful of money. <laughs> uh, this is exactly that thing that, like, that Abbott article was about. Like, just let's Pulling get up. like people from Centrelink and give them mining jobs that require degrees. I'm sure it'll work yeah. out fine. Pull up outside the Home Depot and says, "All right, I need someone to save the world from an exploding <laughs> nuclear reactor." <laughs> me, <laughs> me. <laughs> I have a Are you resistant to radiation? Uh, sure, I do, suppose. Do you have a doctorate in nuclear physics? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's like when actors put on their resumes that they can they can totally ride a horse. Mm -hmm. Well, that happens a bit less in Australia. You don't get skilled homeless as much as in Australia. Now this is the bit that's totally not Blade Runner. That reminds me, I am oh, going hey. to look up when I get home that old Blade Runner game. That job center guy, like, ducked while I was shooting those things. So at least he acknowledges that there, <laughs> is, going on around there is a gunfight going on here. That must be how he got the job of manning the job center. Yeah. He's basically king of the jobs. <laughs> I am Emperor Job! Kneel before Emperor Job! That robot was lying in wait. <laughs> it was a cunning trap. Hello, would you like a job? That is a shit spelling of berserk. Yeah. Berserk. This is Europa Station, not Europe Station. Bizarre. Not Europe Station, because we were going for a nice little convention here with the A's on the end. I'm guessing Australia's in Asia somewhere. Presumably. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's basically just the men's toilets. <laughs> it's now just a colossal desert, which is really all it is. That's... People forget, like, it's uh, every now and then it'll happen where, like, they pick up some British backpackers or Irish backpackers who've managed to drive, like, 400 kilometers into the fucking desert thinking that they can, like, they've just translated the size of the map of England to the Australian map and just thought yeah. it's the fucking same relative space. Yeah, we figured we'd just drive to Alice Springs. This cop, I'm suspicious of this cop's motives. <laughs> Hello, citizen. I'm a friendly policeman. Is that a mask, or do you have to replace your face when you join the police? Yeah, they take your face away. I guess they don't mention... It goes into a locker. Do they mention that when they have the policemen go into the schools and tell everyone about the career options? You get to have your head replaced. <laughs> Comes with a free face. Hey, it is great. Uh -huh. I know that guy. Oh man, I'm the best detective. First guy I spoke to. <laughs> Yes, I know exactly the person you're talking about, and here is a bunch of relevant information about how to find them immediately. So the cyborg I'm looking for is friends with this policeman we, uh, we couldn't interact with before. Yeah. Hey, I now you are relevant. Friend I'm looking for. CB021 wants to make a deal with you. He'll be waiting behind the bar. Come alone. This is like the speed version of a noir story, isn't it? <laughs> like, hello, please uh, look into the death of my husband. Okay, sexy lady. The murderer is here. I found the murderer. Yeah. Let's have sex, sexy lady. Oh no, the sexy lady was evil all along. Uh, now my penis is angry. Oh, that was a mutant here for some reason. Don't shoot me, please. They made me do it. Their hideout's below. The cop has the key. Please. I've got three virtual kids. Oh no, the cop has betrayed me. I will go back to the cop. Then I will shoot the cop. And then I will ride into the sunset. <laughs> This is kind of like just perfectly humorously truncated. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's. Oh, he's flying! You can tell he's evil now because he's flying. It's the three. Page, That's awesome. The three-page summary of the Maltese Falcon. We went to a place, then I went to another place, then I went back, then I went back again, and then I shot a policeman. Now I have thing. Yes. I have thing. Me happy, happy thing. Just call me Harry Dresden. <laughs> I'm Phil Dark Groin. Yes. And now to sneak up on the cyborg and take him by surprise. More enormous Jeffrey's tubes. I always wonder who Jeffrey was. Dude who loved his tubes. He was a tube centric fella. Is that the cyborg? Yeah, that kind of puts an end to the noir side of things, doesn't it? Once you've got the neural page, and 
If you're listening to this, then you have. We need to find the activator. Yes, plot. This is plot now. Yeah, they've basically found a way to tie together all the missions from the original into this one ongoing thing about a neurophage that destroys the morphs. Congratulations. So the Titan socialists are there. Because the best way to counter xenocide is is another xenocide. This is all just fascist capitalist propaganda. No, I stopped that from happening. But I don't have time to explain. Yeah, kind of. Things are moving pretty fast today. Imagine if Conrad had a kid and he got home and, and the kid said, "What did you do today, Daddy?" Shut the fuck up and get Daddy a beer. Uh, save the world from exploding nuclear reactor. Hunted down a rogue cyborg. Yeah, like, and the the, the nuclear reactor was like the smallest part of his day too. Yeah, that that was just like the side thing. Yeah. That was his lunch break. Nobody else in the world seemed to notice either. I was just like, oh, hmm, hmm. wait, where am I going? Uh, it says to go to Europa, and I'm already in Europa. I'm confused. Go to the work center and activate mission five. Live, let's yeah, play. Yeah. Live, let's play. So you can tell it's live because I will now say the words. I'm going to suddenly jump for no reason. Suddenly jump for no reason. Amazing. I need fluids. <laughs> New Washington City. Object. The restricted area of three has been invaded tonight by a colony of mutants. And later, Replace the word mutants with juggalos, and this could be set today. And later, later after I'd killed the cyborg little Susie, I just saved the entirety of Restricted Area 3 from an invasion by the mutants. <laughs> the mutants are just furries that won't take, out, take off their fursonas. I solved the mutant problem by giving them all the common cold. You just sneezed at them. Yeah, their immune systems couldn't handle it. Mm. Normal! <laughs> Normal. Hey. He's so you jerk haver of shields. Oh, hang on. I've had some points I haven't spent. Who fucking cares? I love how, like, just many... Phew, lucky I took care of that. Oh, hey. Now oh, I have grenades. It's almost like we've become Shadow Complex. Just jump down, I'm sure it'll be fine. Just throw a grenade down there, yeah. Hey. Eat it. <laughs> I imagine that would have been very exciting if we'd been down there. I don't know, it was kind of funny this way. Just... <laughs> it didn't... Ah. It's got a shield, ah. dude. You're not hurting it. Ah. Ah. You're going to have to roll. Ah. Oh, fine. Summon the power of roll. Ah. <laughs> and optionally rock. I solve all my combat issues through blues. Okay, use the takedown. I'm trying. I think that's only a stealth thing. Get up and kill him then. Come on, come on. Oh, it worked. I was not expecting that. Yeah, because he forgot you were there, and then it immediately became a stealth circumstance. What an obliging mutant. Now I have. Why do I have a stone? <laughs> well, you can't have the fruit here. Duh. Uh, of course not. Don't, just you don't need it. Just fucking shoot him in the back of the head. I just like yeah. to mix things up. Oh hey. <laughs> One of us. You have a shield, I have a shield too. What now, motherfucker? I bought mine from Bill's pointlessly temporary shield store. Time to party! What does it do? Well, you know... Yeah, I'm it's, surprised Bill. Imagine if an umbrella worked that way. Like, you'd pop the umbrella up and then it, like, lasts for, like, five seconds and then closes. Yeah, it's the umbrella for people who like a bit of a challenge in life. <laughs> Nobody fucking cares about your molecular glasses. Fuck you for putting them in the game. Oh, this is what the rock was for. Oh, Jesus. There it is. Woohoo! I'm the king of adventure games. <laughs> I don't know why they brought this in now when they removed the place rock on thing puzzle from the forest at the start of the game. Now they're getting all retro. Oh. 
See, part of the difficulty of the combat in the first one was that you had to be on the same level as the thing you were shooting, thus making it dangerous for you. Yeah. Outsider! The, what is this? Rise the triad all of a sudden. Accent! Rise the triad. Outsider! You need eyeballs flying at the screen for it to be Rise the Triad. Uh, have you played the Rise the Triad remake? No, I have not. I do. I am meaning to get around to it, but um, I am not made of money. Aren't you? But you're so green and crinkly. Mm. Uh, in Australia, I'm mostly purple and blue. My money is kind of fabulous. That's it's indestructible. One, one of the things I love about overseas travel is like showing them the Australian money. <laughs> saying, Here, here's a challenge for you, rip that in half with your big American muscles. I don't know, so that's not muscle. And then I laugh. They're rippling with congealed fat. It's an entire nation of people that look like Hessian bags filled with cottage cheese. Rippling really is the word. <laughs> undulating, I think. I like the word undulating. Ow, 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 spaz. <laughs> One, it's a one. good thing the combat in this is fucking terrible. Way. <laughs> you know, perhaps all those points I put into stamina are helping, because uh, I've still got more than half health. Yeah, fucking indestructible. <laughs> These guys probably put all their points into something stupid like tech or. Or aim. emitting orange spheres when you die. <laughs> put all my money into orange spheres. Orange spheres. Yeah, it's like the Bitcoin of the future. <laughs> I've converted all my money to orange spheres, and that makes sense. Now I just have to wait for that to be an accepted form of currency, and hey, yeah. hey. It's like a libertarian paradise over here. Oh shit, this guy's huge. Ron Paul, 4012. Shit, he is big. Uh, it's not that it's, not, not it's helping him much. Did you see that? There it is, boss fights. Next we... time you will know. <laughs> I will scatter your corpse. <laughs> I'm gonna trample your grind. Got it. I remember. Hey, did you get the activator? Yeah. And uh, by the way, I'm fine. Let me be. Fuck you, I Conrad. Please. I need to see this virus through to the end, or there won't be a safe place anywhere. I'm trying to avoid stepping on the cracks. Yeah. <laughs> you earn 600 credits. <laughs> Sounds like a third-rate Spider-Man. Uh, I think that's yes. That's all the money we need. We've done all the missions. I feel, my life feels kind of empty now. See, if Work for the Doll was like that, I think it'd be more popular. There you go, Joe. Typical hippie just hanging out at the Centrelink. Yep, with his, uh, with his... Pile of illegal stuff. Yeah, his camping rucksack full of meth. Yeah, yeah, meth and weed that's way too powerful these days. Jesus, previous Conrad gave shit to everyone to give him at the right time. <laughs> oh yes, here's the woman who... Uh, this is basically about as far as her visual presence gets. Approved! Your transfer! It's not that. Senator, transfer! Ah. No, no. I thought you loved me! You told me! Voice acting's terrible! Conrad is tragic. <laughs> Sorry, and sad and filled with emotions. I just don't get it. This isn't you. Just forget me. I'm about to forget you. Oh, damn you. Damn you. You've become such a... Yeah, I know. Douchebag, I think, was the word you were looking for there. <laughs> Well, on, uh, that, on that bit of gritty character drama, I'm about ready to pack this session in for now. Let me play for a while. Do you want to play? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with that. All right, tag out. Just a sec. This is important. Oh, yeah, sweet step. Like, what is technology ostensibly supposed to do anyway? Because um, I haven't even... Oh. Does it make you, like, activate... Oh, that's Floor great. lasers, way better. It would actually tell you unless you've got points to spend on them. Yeah. That's wonderful. There you go. Knock yourself out. Show me how it's done. Okay, let's uh, shoot. Shield. Yeah, right. Roll. It's, it's right trigger to shoot. Right as buttons, is the case grenade. And as per usual, the D-pad on the fucking Xbox controller is just a glorified fucking grenade selector. I prefer the Xbox controller overall. 
because it's big and chunky for my manly hands. <laughs> Your ginormous spider-like hands. Okay, enter the Death Tower, Europa Station. Oh, okay, here we are. Oh god, that 1500 credits yeah. objective still hasn't gone away. Maybe it'll go away now. It's stenciled onto our eyeballs. <laughs> Yahtzee, gotta earn 1500 credits. 1500 credits, Yahtzee. L Yahtzee, 1500 credits, Yosho. But hey, I wasn't finished reading. Yes. Oh, yeah, kind of dropped you in the deep end there. Ah, oh, no. Alright, how do I actually shoot once I got the gun up? Oh, press, so it's just, just tap. Right, okay. Yeah, just right trigger. Like I said. Like in every game. No, but it, I, I thought it may have worked differently. Well, you, th well, did you really think this game was going to do anything different to every game ever made, ever? No, no, but like the way it has... like. Just press up, yeah. Roll, damn you. No, that's that's the floor. The floor is benevolent. Shoot the <laughs> robots. Shoot that guy, though. That guy's a dick. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, what a scandal. The crowd's like a good hand-to-hand -hand one. That's, that's, yeah, that crowd, there's something wrong with it. <laughs> ooh. Uh, Okay. I, I am waving my arm. Okay, I can see what we're doing here. Now, okay, are they going to give me a... Ah, right. oh, there you go. It, it, it literally is Shadow Complex at this point. You're not impressing them. Yeah, I, I think you have to... Ah, oh, yeah. I think you have to time it so that the grenade explodes when it's about to blow up next to the thing. Conrad said something there, but I didn't quite catch it. It was probably douche, 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 douche. Ah, the mystic language of the douche tribe. Fortunately, I am, I am fluent. Is that a ledge up there I can grab? What the fuck? Yeah, just hold up. That's what I'm doing. Well, okay, so maybe it isn't. Ah, uh, okay. It's not no, you shot, the, you shot the glass out. That was the problem. Yep, this is just level one. We got eight. We got eight of these. Uh. That has to hurt. Our competitor is taking a beating. Oh, wait, is it I down hope there? that was a. I hope you were incredibly impressed by the delivery of that line, because I imagine you'll be hearing it a lot. Am I full? Oh. No, you're not full. You're just not pressing the right button. Cause... No, I was pressing the right goddamn button. I know where X is. Do you, though? Because the position of the X varies on, from controller to controller. Yeah, this is Xbox X. Yes. Xbox X is on the left. Hey! Awesome. Sh should have used your glasses. I am not using those stupid fucking things. Cause they're so important. Fuck yeah, combat roll, motherfucker. Combat. Basically, every enemy that's more dangerous than mutants in the original flashback, you just defeat by combat rolling left and right constantly. Excuse me, I'm just going to hydrate. Look, I'm. I'm just gonna say when you can tank like, and uh, a supposed enemy like that, that's not good. You fucking shit can't. Can't see. What I miss? What I miss? Was it you being crap? Uh, you in front of me while I was shooting something, so. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, My living room is very small now. You're very low on health. Oh, yeah. I got the moonwalk! Yes! yes! That is the best way to die. Vastly superior moonwalk death. 
All right, fuck this. Let's play the old fun flashback. Shall we? Sure. Why not? Yeah, have your sweaty controller back. Oh, I see. You're giving up already. It's just not fun. Okay, now let's see how it should be done. <laughs> with proper games. It is funny the that they include, like, the... the highlight of how terrible this one is in the game itself. Yeah, it's just like... Can you believe this game is so shit? <laughs> well, you won't after Don't this. Don't believe us? Here's a simple, you know, comparison. Yes. By the way, enjoy that constant rain animation on the left and right, because we're stuck with it. Does it not, like, zoom in and just let you have the... No, it doesn't full screen. At least I don't think it does. All right, no, that's bullshit. There's got to be a fucking way to full screen it. That's just ridiculous. Delvine Software International, and by that we mean France. <laughs> France is international. Again, on the SNES, that, this, like, was... Actually, on the SNES, this animation was severely cut down because of cartridge space. I think this would be would have been the PC version of the animations. Very Actually, yeah. I don't think the... So that the, 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 a few of these bits were in it, but somehow sm smoother and more appealing than the three D version. Well, again, yeah, art style yeah, counts it's, it's for a, a lot. It's a cutscene in a two D game. It's amazing. I've got a stiffy. <laughs> Zap. Uh, oh, yep. my hover bike. Yep, this is exactly the same scene we saw earlier. Quick flash of the green spotlight. No, yeah. nothing there. Yeah, he's dead. That's good. Uh, Let's, yeah, quickly. We're late for robot porn. Did you look for the body? Yeah, sure. Oh, nice. Just for authenticity, there's like scan lines going across the bloody screen. As I recall, controlling Conrad in this game is like controlling a bloody uh, uh, passenger aircraft. It yeah, it will be a little bit different. Okay, that's that's the draw your gun. Yeah, draw weapon and then awesome like. And uh, what's the jump button? Up. I think it's just up. You're right. It is up. Ow. <laughs> Take a flying leap into a wall. This is made significantly less fun by the fact that it's got this ridiculous fucking arcade cabinet bullshit around it. But, but yeah, basically. Well, what were they supposed to do? You can't convert it to just to uh, widescreen. Just it was all 4x3 in those days. Have it black, for God's sake. Now, here's the... Hollow cube. Now, what's the button for picking it up? Ah, da -da. That would be it. Is there oh. no sound either? No, that's, that's, that's fucked. Why is there no sound? Push a button. There's got to be a... All right. Now, where's the inventory? <laughs> ah, there it is. And now we have to use the hollow cube before... Because, uh, yes. There we go. Bzzz. Don't actually have to do this to win the game, but it's not authentic otherwise. It's, it's amazing how much is lost from virtually all things when you remove the audio. Mm. At least he's remarkably less douchey in this version. Well, he's still got that hairdo. It's always weird when they switch from uh, hand-drawn to rotoscoped art in the cutscenes. There's The characters all grow these bizarre anime hairstyles. <laughs> Splooch. My hair is actually a helmet. Blah 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 blah. Get blah, your ass blah, to Mars. Blah blah, blah blah. This does make me want to watch Total Recall now. The proper R-rated version with the eye bugging. Well, that's basically what this game was. It's mm. just Total Recall. Although, from what I understand, when they first uh, were making the game, their original idea was to make a game with the Godfather license, and presumably they switched that up that plan pretty fucking early in development. Wow, there is. A bazillion miles between that. Shit, I forgot the button for firing. Oh, I don't know. oh wait, I wait, heard I heard something. Shh. Okay, hang on. Where's the, hang on. Where's, hang on, where's the TV volume? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Yes. The volume's just absurdly low. I don't think you're hitting it. No, I think uh, you, can is, only, you can only hit it when it, like... Is he an angry? Ha, ha. No, that, that. When it does that, you can do it. Haha, I'm the best. Take that, R2 douche too. What I also remember about this game is that if you... Oops. Shoot, shoot, ah, shoot. Ah. 
Uh, roll, roll. Uh, 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 uh. He's still coming. Kill it, kill it. But if you if you walk off a platform with your gun drawn, you will land in a, a perfect crouched firing yeah. position, which is basically how you do it. How you solve half your problems. I love the weird liquidy way it kind of falls off. It's just... Yeah, it's, it's very authentic animation. And when you start doing something, you're fucking committed to it. Yeah. Although I don't know why his shirt is pink in gameplay and white in cutscenes. It's hyper color. The '90s is like a big popular retro thing in this era. It's like Ready Player One. Uh, Everyone who understood that joke thought it was fucking funny. Yeah. Okay. I haven't read I that. I will now demonstrate. I'm a bit the tired of fucking. I will now demonstrate books. the drop. Now, without full 360 degree firing, how can we possibly be prepared for this battle? In the dick! Then Eat it! I remember your true face. <laughs> teabag, teabag. <laughs> that guy was minding his own business, yes. and a human just dropped from above and shot him in the groin. And Comrade is now very fucking pleased with himself. Yeah. I want you to think about how bad your day is and know that it could be worse. Okay, we have picked up a stone. Uh... I've never been sure how you're supposed to do how you're supposed to do this bit, but what I usually do is just uh, throw the stone. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That oh. worked out weirdly well for you through nothing else but dumb luck. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. I think you probably get up there in time to shoot him now. Ow! Nope. All you right. can't. You know what? I'm just gonna live and let live. Yeah. Just, you know, he seems alright, he's nice. Yeah, he's, he's our friend now. Yeah, yeah, At least you don't run out of ammo in this like you did in fucking... Now uh, you can stick up on him and blast him in the back. I think we have cleared the air, though. I don't think you'll survive that drop. I think, like, two, two, two levels is a bit much. These controls take a bit of getting used to. Yeah. Okay. Now let's do the drop. Drop and groin. Ha ha ha. Drop and groin, the less <laughs> the lesser known nuclear safety video. <laughs> Drop, stop and balls. He won't pop up to attack you until the bridge is there. Sometimes he does. Not today though. Hume. There's something weird about his running animation, I always think. It looks like he's about to start to run faster. He's always... It's like he's going... <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly someone from Delphine being, like, copied and drawn, to. So that's someone at Delphine's, like, running animation. Now, this green Does that thing, thing kill you or give you your health back? I can't remember. It kills you instantly. Right. You do not want to touch that. <laughs> oh. Uh, these, oh. yeah, these things in the floor also kill you instantly because this game doesn't fuck around. <laughs> like games up, in the olden days, they have your money and they don't like you. This game doesn't fuck around like other games within this same game. I could mention like Super Fuck Around. I'm trying to. I think that's it. I'm trying to recharge my shield, but there's supposed to be an animation, but it doesn't seem to be happening. Um. You yeah, it's, yeah, it's still not charged. Says, still says shield too. Okay, well, go. Maybe are you, are you pushing you like I? Maybe you have to operate it out of the. Maybe nudge like over a little bit. You cannot nudge over any less. Yeah. Is, okay. It is, I'm, it I'm is not a step platformer. Try that. Try that. This this should work. <laughs> this should work. You got nothing. Life for you is hard. Well, actually, All things I, are meaningless. I found a new lease in life just resting my balls on the side of it. <laughs> He's starting to enjoy this now. He's got such a goofy bum. Look <laughs> at it. Look at his goofy fat bum. We could do a whole essay on Delphine and butt animations. Anyway. I'll do like a, a deeper reading into uh, French attitudes towards sex as now, measured through the uh, representations of buttocks in Delphine video games. Now there's a mutant in the, to the left that we should technically already be able to see. But, uh... He doesn't exist yet. As part of gentlemanly combat, we have not yet acknowledged each other. 
His balls have acknowledged me now. <laughs> His balls talk about you in hushed tones. Now, if memory serves... got to touch that one and then skip... Yes. you got to skip touch that, that one. one. Jump over this one. No, not that. <laughs> no, the different kind of jump. What are you, a spaz? Not jump. Jump. Yes. We puzzles. Um, I am. Hi, I'm PD Puzzles. I am the smartest, and here is the man who would become Bolton. Proto Bolton. Yes. Help. This is Bolton classic. Help! I'm not Bolton. Just wounded man. Put your lips on wounded man. Yes. What the fuck are you proposing to do to this wounded man, Conrad? Well, if I was wounded, you know, my head would probably cheer me up a little bit. <laughs> Unless it was a rib injury, then head's probably not helping. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done with that. Yeah, just as just as in the HD 3D shit house. Well, shit house remake. We must find the teleporter of this unnamed not Bolton man. <laughs> Damn you, not Bolton. Damn you for not being Bolton. What about you? I'm starting to want to piss with all that rain. <laughs> it's, it is really just horrible. Like, just big screen it and have black borders. That's I, I, I understand when the thing's not in HD, so it has black borders. That's fine. I'm, yes. Okay, you're going to play ball now, Mr. Energy Generator. Nope. Maybe it's another button. Like, try pushing everything. Oh. Well, why did he keep looking at it when I pressed the other one? Because that was the look at button. Duh. I'm so confused. <laughs> now, I, I, what, what do I do now? What do we know, really? Oh, wait a minute. Am I supposed to have picked up something from the guy's... I'm looking for the teleporter, aren't no, I? No, yeah, you're looking for the, you gotta jump. Jump! Dun, dun. Jump. Oh, I don't think I, I can jump off this. Cause yeah, when if I you do a running my... jump forward, you'll, you'll, you'll clear the... See? Oh, yeah, well, it's just if you press jump from a standing position, it just makes the elevator oh. go up. Now you gotta take a running, a running oh. leap. Oh, wait a sec. We need a thing to make the bridge work, don't we? Does he have the thing? I think it's up there, yeah. Well, back we go. Yes. I do like the detail in the background, Dad. Again, work. like, yeah, for viewers who didn't play this originally back in... When did this come out? Was it 91? 93. 93. It said so on the title no, screen. I don't... Um, it was a big deal, yeah. Like, these... This, this, I think this is still holds the uh, Guinness World Record for the best-selling French game. And with good cause. Of course, there weren't Oink. that many yeah. uh, well-known <laughs> French games. It was literally just all the other things that Delphine had released. Well, there was also uh, Little Big Planet. Is that French? That actually, that actually makes a lot of sense that Little Big, Pla Big Planet's yes, French. Yes, it was made by a French developer called Adeline Software, I believe. All right. I don't think he's got what you need. Well, where is it then? Um, I don't know. Maybe if we just walk around and explore. Okay then, I can do that. Because I'm a big, I'm a big fan of these like little static Prince of Persia jumping step platformers. Step platformers, is, I believe the term. Hmm. I always just called him Prince of Persia. -y. Like, I loved Limbo. Prince and Persiary, as in fuckery. <laughs> or uh, haberdashery. Prince of pederastry. Now, why did you go straight to pedophilia again? Pederastry is not just pedophilia. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, I think there's an age thing in it. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh, God. See, you're so busy thinking about pedophilia, you almost stepped on the lethal floor trap. Don't you make this about me. <laughs> that should be the quote that you use to sum up this like YouTube video. <laughs> Just that one standalone. There's no context. Yes, we need a cartridge. 
I have no cartridge. What's going on? Maybe, maybe it was back up there somewhere. Just hop back and forth. Okay. Pederastry is different from pedophilia. What is it then? Well, it's when, like, you know, they're younger, but not, like, eight. What? Yeah. I thought that was uh, something else. And why did you look it up? Why are you so interested? Because I wanted to see Wikipedia's pictures of little boy schlongs. Well, oh, the cartridge was here. See, so, that's what happens when you leave people alive. You fail I've, to solve puzzles. I have learnt my lesson. I will never again allow my fellow man to live. I can tell you, pederastry was popular in ancient Greece. Yeah. Well, that was more, um, catamitism. Uh, so many, so many red figure potter, pots of young boy penis. Well, why were you so interested? Because it's just kind of funny seeing, like, an ancient piece of pottery that's essentially just a picture of a dude fucking an eight-year-old kid. Like, that's funny. Like, it's not like you could just have, like, yeah. a picture of that. Yeah, that's hilarious, man. <laughs> no, but I mean, when it's in, like, a museum, and it's like, what's that? Oh, that's essentially child porn. It's like, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, now I'm going to charge this cartridge, and all will be well. Uh, I've lost none of the old magic. Uh, yes. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. I'm bored. I'm just gonna jump into the little green shower of bastard. <laughs> yes, yes, that was everything I hoped it would and be. Now I have mutant abilities. <sighs> well, I'm bored now. <laughs> Shall we stop? Yeah, why not? Yeah, maybe we'll come back to this game later. If mm, I don't want to do that. If something happens to our brains. <laughs> yeah.